My friend, tomorrow afternoon you're going to see a Gumiers camel throw sand into the face of a Legionnaire's camel. The race is practically won. Two minutes and six seconds. We got the race won! You mean our camel's faster? Why, Josephine covered the same distance in two minutes and one second. Oh, boy! <laughs> Captain Gallant, you will remain outside. Come in. At ease. Well? Well, maybe then uh, we, the three of us, have been elected spokesmen for the company. You see, sir, it's about our savings, uh, uh, the money you're keeping for us. You mean the money you're saving up for your leaves? Well, what about it? Uh, well, sir, uh, we don't want the next leave to be just another leave. We, we want to have a real humdinger. And we know how to double our savings, sir. With Josephine. Josephine? She's the camel fuzzy we'll ride in the race tomorrow. <laughs> it's in the bag, Captain. We can't lose. So you see, if we wager our savings on Mademoiselle Josephine, we will double our money. You want to risk your leaves on Josephine? I mean, Fuzzy's camel? The company took a vote. Well, it's your money. I can't stop you if you want to risk it. Who are you going to bet with? Well, we figured to get a little action over to cafe, Captain. Want to do me a favor? Why, sure. Glad to, Captain. Don't bet with anybody you know. I mean, not the other regiment and none of the townspeople. Well, th that sort of limits the field, don't it? Maybe. But I don't think so. You just let it be known that you have a little cash. I think you'll get your chance. All right, Duval, here's yours. Send the others in. Fuzzy, that's yours. All right. Right in. Right in. Anything new on the robbery, Captain? Well, not uh, exactly, sir. That's what I came to see you about. The payroll for the mining company was stolen two weeks ago. Uh, I have an idea, sir, that a man by the name of Lorenzo has a hand in it. Well, you cannot prove it. Because he must know that we have the serial numbers of the bills and, well, is afraid to spend one of them. At least if he is the man we're looking for. Well, we cannot wait forever to find out. I want to show the mining company the Legion can keep law and order in this district. I hope you can do that, sir. Just give me a little more time. I, I think I have an idea that might work. That's all. Sir? Silence, please, in respect of beauty. I see what you mean.
had enough. Why don't we get out of here? Casablanca, Tangiers, anywhere but this hole. And what do we use for money? We got a bag full of money. We'll use that. Not here, we don't. Not with the cops and the Legion looking for the serial numbers. I'm telling you, we want to place a bet. The race is all set, and Josephine is just as right as rain. I've heard all about your camel. So what? To win a few measly francs from a legionnaire is not worth my while. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Show him, Sarge. Well, uh, you call that measly? A hundred thousand francs? Now you can speak with a certain amount of authority. I happen to know of three businessmen in town who might be interested in a friendly wager. Yeah? They have been finding our society, shall we say, dull. Perhaps a little bit on the race will whet their appetite. Well, that sounds good. Uh, why don't you have a talk with them? Wait, I'll sound them out. <laughs> For a small percentage, I can lead you gentlemen to a small fortune. There's no work attached. All you do is to make a bet that the Legionnaire's camel will lose the race this afternoon. For which camel is faster? I've heard from those who know the Legionnaires. But I also know the camel is an outlaw. He'll let only one man come close to it. And that man? Where is he? The scrawny one of the two at the bar. And if our friend should be taken suddenly with a sleeping sickness, there would be no one else to ride the camel. No one. The legionnaires would lose. We'll cover all they want to bet. Here's where we collect our getaway money, in unmarked bills. Tell Zara I want to see her. Gentlemen, this is Mr. Lorenzo. He will take your bet. Or just your friendly wager, you understand, to give the rest a little more interest. But of course, monsieur. I'll cover it. Well, that's fine. Now, who can we get to hold the stakes? Allow me, gentlemen. I'm only too happy to be of service. <laughs> and not free drinks, monsieur. We must toast each other's luck. Well, uh, you drink with them, Sarge. I got a race to run. Uh, <laughs> camels and wine don't mix. <laughs> <laughs> you help, monsieur. Well, <clears throat> we'll see you gentlemen after the race. One moment before you go, a favor. I was telling Mr. Lorenzo about your great talent with the piano. Well, I may be a genius, but I ain't got no talent. Only yesterday I spoke to you about it. What did I say about our friend here? A great talent, you said. Well, you may be right. I don't know. <laughs> Just one tune to prove to Mr. Lorenzo I do not exaggerate. Well, what do you think, Sarge? Well, it would be rude to refuse, I suppose. Very well, one tune. <laughs> All right. <laughs> one song, eh? <laughs> Get this to Sarah. She know what to do. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to sing a thousand songs. I'm only going to sing about 150. <laughs> Down in the town where I was born, there lived a gal named Sally Green. She was the simplest gal you ever saw, the simplest gal you ever seen. Slipped inside her to a great big straw. She was the simplest gal you ever saw. She sipped first and I sipped last. She sipped the most cause, she sipped the most cause, she sipped so fast. Sipped inside to a great big straw. Simplest gal you ever saw. What a simplest gal you ever saw. One artist to another. Who, me? Uh, oh, uh, wait a minute. I, I got something new I want to show you. Look. Look at this. Drink to us. To us? Oh, I wrote a song for you. Look, it goes like this. Oh, not too fast, lover boy. Lover boy? Well, as long as you put it that way. <laughs> uh, what do we drink to? Give me that one where the right hand goes so. Oh, yeah. Hey, take this. Mm. <laughs> That's my drink. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Say, who stole my drink? Come on, it's almost time. I get you another drink. Oh, no, never mind the drink. You gotta go. I'll take a rain check on it, honey. Oh, no, no, be, be careful, sir. Don't get too close to Josephine. She's very jealous of other girls. You must drink a toast. That's good luck. Champagne? Sure. <laughs> what if Zara should fail this time? Ah, that's good. I'll never forget you for this. Save the rest of it. Time for the race, Fuzzy. Whose side was he on anyway? Wait till we get him back in the barracks. He sold us out. Let him alone. I don't care if he never comes to me. Looks like a big sty. You're gonna have to snap out of it, Fuzzy, or I'll get a new orderly. Get these pressed. I can't do it, Captain. They'll kill me. I'll take the pants, Fuzzy. This has got to stop. Sergeant, you're back. Sergeant. What's got into everybody? Why can't you people lose like good sports? It's not the loss, my Captain. It's the manner of losing. Fuzzy has let us down. Ah, maybe so. He didn't do it deliberately. Why don't you give him another chance? Another race? Uh-huh. But we're all broke. Well, Payday is next week. Here. Get this for me. You have confidence in him, Captain? Well, I think he deserves another chance. Well, that's good enough for you is good enough for us. We shall arrange another race. Here. 
Stand down, Sergeant. We'll buy you some refreshment. Life must be difficult for the penniless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here, mon ami, to exchange pleasantries, but to challenge you to another race. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the jokes. Do you accept or not? But of course we do. Only this time bring a camel, not a turtle. <laughs> Very well. Next Saturday, same place, same distance. You know why I'm here. We are not interested. Look, you lost, we won. That's the end of it. That's what you think. On behalf of my comrades, I offer you a chance to make another bet. And what do you intend to use for money? Our pay, 80,000 francs. But of course, we would be happy to accommodate you. And like before, I will hold the stage. Very well. How about monsieur? That was not very smart. Especially when we know the Legion camel is faster. We beat them once, we can do it again. You can't pull the same trick on them twice. You're stupid, both of you. Now listen, last time we got the man. This time we get the camel. Make it fast, but be sure you break at least one leg. Halt! What's going on here, soldier? Three men. They're after Josephine. Josephine? You see, my instinct was right. You did well, Mobile. We pushed our luck too far. With the guard watching, there's nothing we can do. I have it. Where is Zara? In bed, I suppose. Why? No matter. Tomorrow is time enough. You know what to do. All right. if you kill the beast. We are in a hurry. I'm in a hurry, too. You're the one that held the stakes, aren't you? Let's have it. Uh-huh. This is what I've been looking for. This is all the proof I need. Take them all in and search them. Get going. 
And the rest of the payroll was found in the suitcase. Well, Captain, if we should ever have another situation like this one, I hope you get another good idea. Thank you, sir. This is the money our boys put up and the reward from the mining company. I'd like to turn it over to them now. By all means. Thank you, sir.